got 3,600 hectares out here. We we run self-replacing merino ewes, and the old oldest ewes go back to first cross white Suffolk. The rainfall uh, out out here ranges from about 312 mil to uh, probably 280. The pasture mix is, is definitely increasing um, because we're giving the country more spill. Uh, like it's getting a rest of 120 days three times a year. Uh, there's definitely some of the, the grasses which I didn't know were here are starting to come back. We've increased the ground cover from probably less than 50 percent. I'm guessing up around 70 to 80 now. Rainfall is, is more value to us now because we've got more cover. 10 mil of rain will give us feed now where at once it used to just run away. We're aiming more towards a perennial pasture base now. Um, the annuals are, are a minor part of it. We're only grazing five days maximum sort of at any time um, and winter time we do do close up a bit if, if we've got or spring more than winter probably when we've got active growing we maybe come back to 90 to 100 days rest. The salt bush uh, we've actually got 230 hectares of that planted now um, in the in 17 paddocks. It's a good stop gap if we look like running short on feed anywhere we can could shove a mob in in 12 hectares of around 800 DSE and, and there's about 10 days feed. We've moved the stocking rate from about 1.8 hectares per DSE down to probably 1.4 or a bit, bit, bit less. Um, overall we've increased our numbers at this stage by 17% uh, and we've definitely got more feed and I haven't had hand fed anything since we started. Stock condition probably is more even now. We, we seem to be a hold them at about fat foot score three, 12 months of the year rather than having down to one and up to five. Lambing percent hadn't changed at all. In cell grazing, the first thing everyone says is it takes you a lot of time to move the sheep, but I worked out that it's actually saving me about 14 days per year cell grazing against the old method. They're all in the yard within half an hour, where it used to take probably three or four days for mustering, for shearing, crutching and lamb mucking before. We drift, drift move during the lambing, which is just open the gate in front and they, uh, they move themselves through over the period of a couple of days. They've become much quieter. Um, they look for me now to open the gate rather than run away, um, which has made sheep handling much easier. The dogs are basically retired. Some of the main challenges was uh, was the initial outlay of the cost of the fencing and the and the water. We did receive some funding for some of it to protect native grass type country. Probably now about seven years in, we're uh, we're probably going to cover the cost of the wire and the water anyway. With the increased uh, stock numbers, the biggest challenge we've had um, is the stigma thing of being out there on your own with. Uh, uh, something new in the area and yeah, no no real local support except from the the Persa boys and girls. This cell grazing system it's definitely here to say I uh, haven't don't have any regrets about doing it. 